The Julian calendar is the first calendar proposed by Julius Caesar in 46 BC, was a reform of the Roman calendar. It took effect on January 1, 45 BC. It was designed with the aid of Greek mathematicians and Greek astronomers such as Sosigenes of Alexandria. The Gregorian calendar is the calendar used in most of the world. It is named after Pope Gregory VIII, who introduced it in October 1582. The reform was adopted by the Catholic countries of Europe and their overseas possessions. The Greece being the last European country to adopt the calendar in 1923. In the Philippines, New Year's Eve or Bisperas ng Bagong Taon is a special non-working holiday. Filipinos usually celebrate New Year's Eve in the company of family or friends. Traditionally, most households would visit the churches and attend year-end service. Typical dish is pancit for long life and hamon. The Philippine national dish is lechon, a spit roasted suckling pig is usually prepared. Many opt to wear new, bright or colorful clothes with circular patterns such as polka dots. Or displays sweets and 12 fruits as the centerpiece in the belief that circle attracts money and fortune and that candies represent a sweeter year ahead. Several customs must only be done at midnight. Some throw about coins to increase wealth in the coming year or jump to increase their height. People also make loud noises by blowing plastic horns called torotot, playing loud music, or by lighting firecrackers. The ancient Babylonians are said to have been the first people to make New Year's resolutions, some 4,000 years ago. They were also the first to hold recorded celebrations in honor of the New Year, though for them the year began not in January but in mid-March when the crops were planted. They also made promises to the gods to pay their debts and return any objects they had borrowed. These promises could be the forerunners of our New Year's resolution. The Emperor Julius Caesar established January 1st as the beginning of the New Year. January is named after Janus, a mythical god of early Rome. Janus had two faces, one looking forward and one looking backward. On December 31st, the Romans imagined Janus looking backward into the old year and forward into the new year. This became a symbolic time for Romans to make resolutions for the new year and forgive enemies for the troubles in the past. New Year's resolution today is our mostly secular practice. Instead of making promises to the gods, most people make resolutions only for themselves and focus purely on self-improvement, like eating healthy diet or exercise more. And thinking about one's past mistakes and resolving to do and be better in the future like quitting smoking or drink less alcohol. Nearly half of us are making New Year's resolution but less than 10% of us are actually keeping them. Whether it's lack of motivation, lack of resources or we just lose interest, we still have another chance for next year. History from the past year gives us the opportunity to learn. It helps us understand the many reasons why people may behave the way they do. As a result, it helps us become more compassionate as people and more impartial as decision makers. Reflecting on the past year's blessings with family and friends and to welcome the new year with positive disposition. Create happy memories and count more blessings. Because life is too short to be miserable for the next 12 months. Therefore, appreciate life and live day by day.